Hello, hello, Scrapper Names fans. How are we all? So I'm up with a Challenge Tuesday video, or going to plan this works. I'm doing the Scrap the Boys challenge again this month. This one is all about stars. So be the star, or the boys are the star, or something like that. So I'm doing a bit of a mix and matchy here of a Project Life spread of my son's first assembly he hosted at the beginning of this year. Um, and he did a group presentation of something they were working on in class and then at the end he jumped up on the stage which are the two photos you can see in the middle and then one at the bottom with his mate well he started it then his mate got up with him um and just started randomly just dancing um which was really cool to see as my son he's had a bit of crap happen and he kind of lost a bit of his social confidence and whatnot over the years and it was good to see him just get up there and go his crazy self again so it was really cool to see it was hilarious um he didn't get in trouble or anything like that everyone just cracked up laughing and anyway so that's what i'm documenting today so i'm doing a bit of a project life spread as i wanted to uh have a bit of a change i've been doing a lot of 12 by 12 i had noticed um so i thought i'd give you a bit of project life uh, so as I said, it's a bit of a mix and match. I'm using a different, a bit of variety of, of papers that I've got in my stash, as well as those to the side uh, that you can see on the right there are some, I think it's from the Extreme Team from the Flutter by Designs collection. Now I do warn that some of these have some pretty, or a little bit of colourful language. Um, I don't know if I use any with that in this spread, but like the card that's being hidden at the moment not deliberately but it is sort of covered up I don't know how long for um, there is some you know some swear words there so if you don't necessarily like those just uh, avert your eyes should it pop out of its hiding hole there uh, so I've used this black um, pattern paper there uh, is got some stars on it it is from a scrapping fun kits kit I think from a few months back um, and I just trimmed it down to the 4x6 size and I'm using it as a sort of background paper kind of project life card uh, and just to make a bit of a filler card using this just be cool um, 3x4 card that is in this pro, um, collection pack from Photo by Designs. I did put a bit of a mat behind the just be cool card uh, which is just a bit of pattern paper from it is from a six by six paper pad I think it was probably an Amy Tan one I want to say I think and maybe so is this green paper can't think yes it's a new to my stash Amy Tan 6x6 paper pad that I've just picked up or picked up a few weeks back uh, in my birthday haul so it's a fair few weeks back I uh, can't remember the name of it if you want to know what it is leave me a comment and I will let you know um, I don't know if it's a new Amy Tan collection or whether or not it's sort of one from early on um, but yes, I did just pick it up. Anyway, so I did border that Just Be Cool card just to give it a bit of a background, a bit of a lift off that starry dark background as well so it didn't get lost in it. So just going through making my own little pocket cards here. So as you can see, I've used that green paper. It's got a star pattern on it. So as I said, the theme of this month's challenge is stars. So try to pick some papers that are starry. Um, now I did get a little bit hung up on this as I do tend to do with some sometimes with mood boards and things like that if I get hooked on a pattern so then I had to sort of take a moment and go okay chill out dude let's just go with some colors as well and chuck in the stars here and there so that's what I did with this card which has I really liked this pattern paper it's a simple stories one I think it's from domestic bliss I think it's called um, it was just a random one I brought uh, it's got some little cross pattern sort of type thing on it um, but I like the multi colors on it and it fitted in well with the dark blues and the greens and everything with all the other colors in the spread so then I decided to put a bit of glitter 
paper to back this photo and I just used this scrap bit because all I wanted was just a thin little slither of glitter border nothing too much just to add a bit of sparkle to this card just because the colors weren't bold and big and bright sort of colors um, it's colorful it's just not in your face colorful if you know what I mean so I wanted to make sure that it stood out and it popped a bit and they're not the most clearest of photos. I was sitting back at a distance from the stage, so my camera was zoomed in. It wasn't the best camera, uh, camera phone at the time. So yeah, I thought I'd, you know, get a bit of blue glitter out, blue glitter paper, and uh, just add a little border of it. Now, do play around. I love some of these little phrases on these. Uh, flutter by design cards they just crack me up they're perfect for I'm sure what will be the next few years of documenting my son's life it's just going to be great I had these clear stickers just sitting in my stash um, I think they were actually given to me thought this was perfect just added it over the top using some wood veneer as well that have got some stars on it just to incorporate the stars onto this card and I think I don't, this little asterisk is sitting there off to the side, I actually edited it out, I played around age for ages, again it was the whole being caught up on the one thing, um, I wanted to put it on and I sat it there and it didn't look right and I kept putting it on and off and on and off and on and off and I was like something needs to go there, it didn't look right with just the two wood veneer pieces, I think in the end I actually just leave it at the two wood veneer pieces, oh no maybe I'll add this little page tab. I think it says more so, I think I end up going with this page tab which actually said it says I think this one does I think it says more swagger than jagger or something which is what the big card said that you saw me playing with in the beginning I think that's what this says that was great this whole memory as I said it was great to see him just jump up on the stage and just belt out this really random like almost Irish jig kind of thing it was yeah it was cool it was pretty cool uh, washi tape I couldn't see when I was editing the photos for these before I did this voiceover um, to add at the end I couldn't tell what this was I couldn't tell if it was a wood veneer wash um, star wood veneer piece that I've got I had in my stash, I knew I had in my stash that joins together or what it was I had sitting there it's black and white bushy there you go I had this blue piece of um, pattern paper as such in my stash and I discovered it while I was rummaging around looking for other stuff it's actually from an inky quill past printable so I decided to pop that out and just leave it there to give it a go as my title card and this chipboard piece was given to me for my birthday actually from my friend so I decided to paint it with just some acrylic paint I felt it just needed something more it looked too bare with just the chipboard so I decided to add the black acrylic paint I did let it dry for the most part <laughs> And then just carefully glued it down uh, and those stickers are just yeah just stickers really add some blue stars some sequin stars and then that one is the title card done again there's the stars and away we go Right, so I decided this was going to be my journaling card, but those little star pieces in the middle that are part of the pattern paper, um, were a bit of a problem in that because of where they're sitting in the page, it doesn't quite give you, give me, it sort of got in the way of my journaling, so I had to sort of be a bit creative around it. I did do a date stamp and did a bit of ghosting stamp so that's just with a project life a current project life 
stamp. Um, this is part of a Kaiser Craft collection that's out at the moment. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I actually brought it sp specifically because of the some of the sentiments that are on it, like I love you to the moon and back and things like that, which is something that I use with my son and have since the day he was born. Um, but also because of the colours and things like that in it, it's very much very deep blues and those sorts of things. So when I saw it when I was wandering Kays of Crafts the other week, I thought, oh my gosh, that's perfect. It's something a little bit different for my son's album. So I grabbed it, a couple of papers that I really liked, and I grabbed it. Anyway, so because this called for stars, and this is for his album as I sort of figure, you figure, um, I just used it a little bit of it anyway, of this pattern paper with the stars on it. So journaling's all done. I do pop, I finally popped that asterisk on. I did add another bit of stamping and go stamping with it with another roller stamp of mine with some blue ink and added an acrylic star at the top there. As you can see, I've also added another Project Life card from the Flutter by Designs pack that I have there that I was telling you about. Um, that's in that <coughs> three by four pocket. And now I'm just going to go through and play around with embellishing some of my photos. And then for the most part, this I think is done. I don't actually think I do too much else. I staple these little page tabs on and I put one on either photo just so um, it's a bit balanced on either side and you can see in the close-ups what are uh, written on either of them because I don't have it sitting in front of me so I can't remember what I put on there. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm hoping that I will get this up for you now that this voiceover is done. It should hopefully go up sometime tomorrow which is Tuesday because it is only Monday night so by the time my software does its thing and it uploads for YouTube it should hopefully be all finished for Challenge Tuesday so hopefully it will be on time with no hiccups um, yes but then I am on going to the Flutter by Designs retreat at the end of the week which was a girlfriend of mine which I am super super duper excited about so stay tuned we might share some photos of those. Um, I'm thinking about doing a packing video, so keep an eye out for that. I might try and put it up before I leave. Otherwise, I will speak to you all when I get back. Have a great week if I don't check in beforehand. And thank you again so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and like and leave me a comment below if you've got any questions or yeah. Nonetheless, but yeah, I think I'm all done. I think that was everything done. And I think we just have the close ups. There we go. All done. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.